Hey everyone, my name is Andy Welkley and welcome to part two of our MRI at Work series. Today we're going to explore the second pillar of our MRI at Work framework and that is maximizing the lease. In our first episode, we talked about attracting great tenants and bringing them into our portfolio and getting that document signed and negotiated. Well, that's really what the lease is. It's a framework for the negotiation, but it goes far beyond that. We start talking about roles and responsibilities between tenants and property owners and managers. We talk about the financial relationship that the lease kind of guides. And at its core, the lease is a way to minimize or mitigate the risk on both sides of the equation. Those unforeseen things that pop up, for those things that are likely to pop up, the lease provides a way to offset that risk and manage through the process. But there's far more to it than that. The first part of the process is making sure that we get that document off of paper and into a tool that we can use to share that information across our organization. There are many ways to do this lease abstraction from kind of manual, the art and science of it, through artificial intelligence and making that process really efficient and digitizing the whole lease. Now once we're able to do that, we're able to maximize those terms and conditions by spreading that information across the organization, making sure that your tenants have good visibility into the lease, empowering property managers or other members of your own organization to take advantage of the terms and conditions that are contained in the lease. When we're able to do that, and share that information effectively, we'll never miss a key term or condition that might put us at risk or might risk the relationship with that tenant. So making sure that that information, that unstructured information, is in a way that we can use it and consume it effectively is critical to your ongoing processes. And when we can take that one step further and visualize that information, provide those visual cues for your property managers to take better and more effective action, now we've really got an efficient process all driven by that lease and all driven by digitizing it. Now finally, we have the opportunity to look back across our whole portfolio. And there are certain terms and conditions that we may offer as incentives or reasons for a tenant to sign a lease. Maybe it's a, a reduced rate on a tenant improvement or a free month or two of rent. We can analyze the impact of those clauses when we're able to look at them in aggregate across our portfolio and make sure that they are as productive and as profitable as possible, really maximizing the value of that lease. So that's step two in our MRI at Work framework. Join us again next time as we'll explore how to make your operation run more smoothly. Thanks very much.